everyone. Today I am going to tell you a story about a girl who gave me so much trouble when all I wanted to do was be friends with her. You've probably heard me mention a girl named Leah in one or two of my videos before. Well, here's the whole story behind her. Also take note that Leah is a fake name. I am not going to use her real name. So first I need to give a bit of backstory. I had to change schools in between sixth and seventh grade and that meant leaving all my friends behind and having to make new ones. Reminder, this was before social media was a big thing or as big as it is today. So um, the day I had my first counseling session, um, weekly counseling sessions rather, I found out that I was going to be having them with this girl and that girl was Leah. Now the second Leah started talking, I thought she was the cat's meow. She was sharp, she had a fun personality, and I discovered that she and I were into the same things. Because of that, I made it a mission to get her to become best friends with me while I was there. However, outside of our counseling sessions, she seemed really cold towards me, so I figured I would try to get on her good side during our counseling sessions. And then I had a bomb dropped on me. I found out that I was now going to be doing my counseling sessions with a different girl that I didn't really know how to click with. And that really ruined everything. Meanwhile, Leah seemed to grow colder and colder towards me. Eventually, I found another kid who I became best friends with, and I forgot about Leah, though occasionally she would make some nasty remarks towards me. Sorry everyone, my throat's getting a little dry. There we go. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> a few years later. She and I were now going to high school together. My best friend had left. I had become the chew toy of all the bullies. People I considered other friends had now decided to turn on me, and Leah had become more popular. For whatever reason, she seemed to find incredible pleasure in making me miserable. She would taunt me at any opportunity she got. She would poke her nose into private conversations I would have with teachers about my problems, and she seemed to smile whenever I cried or got angry. To add insult to injury, one of the few people who actually tolerated me that I got to click with got into a disgustingly sweet goo-goo in-your-face relationship with her, and if he was going to impress her, that meant ditching me as a friend. And then came the day when she really, oh, pardon me, really, really snapped. I was trying to comfort another student who was feeling bad when all of a sudden Leah butts in and starts giving me one of those great big reason why you suck speeches lol TV tropes basically saying how I had no reason to feel sad and depressed all the time and how nobody wanted to be around someone as miserable as me and just calling me all these awful names and cursing at me and then I just started crying but it wasn't crying it was a great big loud Godzilla whale That big speech really damaged me, and to this day, I still struggle with, with self-esteem issues. A few years later, Leah did apologize to me online, and while I did say I accepted it, today I don't really think I can fully forgive her for the way she treated me. Through all this, I learned two things. One, just like they say in the movie Wonder, choose kind, mostly because you never know what someone might be going through. Bullying can really mess someone up for life. I'm living proof because I still carry emotional scars from all that she did to me. And two, if you find that someone isn't willing to be your friend, even if you bend over backwards for them, then maybe they're not worth it. So yeah, that was my bullying story about Leah. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.